Hello everyone and welcome to my Body Works and Abs workout number two. This is a total body strength conditioning class working all of the muscle groups from top to bottom uh, using free weights or your own body weight. So if you don't have free weights today, grab those items around the house that you can use in place of those weights and also a mat or a towel for yourself to put down on the floor. Um, in addition to the strength moves, we are going to be doing some short quick cardio spurts in between most of those strength moves, just to get the heart rate going a little faster, get your feet moving a little, a little quicker. Um, as always, please modify anything you feel you need to. I will be helping you out with that along the way today. Uh, listen to your body, but try to push yourself, and of course, take that drink whenever you need it, jump back in as soon as you can. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get into our warm up and stretch first, and then we will get right into that first strength move. Here we go. All right, let's start with the march here. Right and left, march it out. Get it moving. Now march those feet a little wider. Four more counts, then we're gonna tap it out. In three, two, here we go, tap it out, side to side. You can keep those hands down at your sides. Now we're going to add a shoulder shrug here. Single shrug up and down. Turn it to a shoulder roll to the back. Four more counts, so we're going to make it a bigger circle. Three, two, big circle to the back. Come on, big arms here. Four more counts. Four, three, two, keep the arms down, keep tapping here. In three, two, bring the feet back in, march it out right and left here. Now we're gonna squat out and in to the right. Four more to the right, four, three, Two, stay up, march it out, left and right here. In three, two, slide out and into the left. Come on, get low, sit back. You've got four more. Four, three, two, stay center, march it out, left and right. In three, two, Good, let's pulse down nice and low here. Come on, sit back in that little chair. Four more counts, so we're gonna keep it low. Four, three, two, keep it low here. Bring the hands down to the ground. You're gonna take that right foot back. Lift and lower those hips. Up for four, three, two, Stay low on this last one. Just switch up your foot that's behind. Put the other one back there. Make the lower those hips. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Stay low again. Step that back foot forward. Hands come on the legs. Bring yourself up halfway. Back is nice and flat. Separate your feet here. We're gonna drop the shoulder and cross. Go to the right first, and then the left. Drop. Cross, drop, cross. For four, three, two, last one. Come on back to center, bring those feet together. Roll yourself all the way up right here. Looking straight ahead, nice big inhale. Reach those arms up, exhale, bring it down. Great job, everyone. All right, let's move on. Okay, we're going to start with squats first. I'm going to grab some weights just to hold up my sides. If you don't want to use weights, you don't have to grab any at all. I'm going to grab some tents here. Remember, you grab what works for you if you're using any. Feet about shoulders apart, looking straight ahead. Single squats here to start. So think about your form. With every exercise we do, correct form. Fix it if you need to. Sit 
sitting back in that little chair. Inhale when you lower, exhale when you come up. Four more, and then we're gonna change this a little bit. Three, two, now you're gonna go down two levels, up two levels. Down, down, up, up. Lower, lift, lower. I just see two different levels, going down and coming back up. Down, lift. Abs tucked in, back on the heels, down, back up. Now go back to your singles here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, good. Now I'm gonna squat, curtsy to the right, Squat, curtsy to the left, squat, and cross. So we just added that curtsy in between each squat. Squat, cross. You can put those weights down anytime you need to. You got it, four more, squat, cross. One more each side. Last one. Good job. Now this next week, I'm going to put my weights down. We're going to take out the squat and just do the curtsy. Okay, so you're going to go to the right first, all to the right. So you're going to cross and come up. Cross, push up. Cross, lift. Four more. You're really pushing off of that foot that's staying still. Three, two. Good job. Stay up. We're going to switch it up. We're going to go over to the left. Cross, step up. So that foot that's moving, I'm tapping it very lightly off to the side. Come on, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Excellent, everyone. Okay, just gonna give you a quick jump rope here. Get it moving. I'm just picking up the speed here. Come on, pretend you have the rope in your hand. Jump it out. Whatever you want to do with this feet to keep it moving. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Very nice, everyone. All right, overhead presses, working those shoulders. Grab some weights. I have to change the music to go slower on the strength moves. Okay, we're gonna start with those goalpost arms. Right underneath those arms, in line with the floor. Nice like your brown weights. Singles here. Up. Up. Lift. Up. Think about your weights. Are they the correct weights for you? How's your form? Big exhale. When you push those weights up, four more. And then we're gonna go to those two levels, up and down. Two, here we go, two levels. Up, up, down, down. Lift, lift, down, down. Want to see two different levels going up and coming back down. Up, down. You got three more, and then we're gonna hold those arms still. Two more. Up, down. 
down one more, one, up. Now keep those elbows bent, hold it right here. Hold it for three, two. Now bring those arms all the way up here, hold them up here. In three, two, down two levels, up two levels. Down, down, up, up. How are you feeling? Down, up, down. Come on, you've got four more, then we're gonna pulse up at the end. You've got this. Down, lift up, two more. Down, up, one more. I want you to hold it right here, elbows bent, little pulse up, 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 up. Come on, finish it. Four more counts. Four, three, two. Yes, nicely done. Bend your knees when you put those weights down. All right, I'm bringing the hands to the floor, squat thrust with the hold at the end. Looks like this. You start your feet in, you jump out and in, and then just lift your chest up. Jump out and in, stay low, just lift that chest up. If you don't wanna jump, walk the feet out and in, and then just lift the chest up. You'd rather stay up, just stay up and keep yourself moving. Anything can be changed up, strength or cardio. For four, three, two, one. Good job, everyone, come on up. All right, static lunges here. I'm gonna grab some weights again. Now I'm gonna rest these weights on my shoulders. You can hold them up here. You can hold them together in front of you. You can hold them at your sides. Or you can do this without weights. So take your left foot back first. Back heel is lifted. Straight down and up. Down, up. Inhale when you lower. Exhale when you lift up. Take a quick glance down when that front knee bends in line with that shoelace. For four, three, two, oh, sorry, getting four more, sorry. Four, three, two, down two levels, up two levels, here we go. Down, down, up, up. Show me those levels. Inhale down, exhale up, back heel lifted. Come on, four more. Down, up, abs tucked in, looking out ahead. Two more, one more. On this one, I want you to hold it down. Hold it here, four counts. Four, three, two, up two levels, down two levels, go up. Up, down, down, lift, down, excellent, up. How are those legs doing? Two more, then we're gonna hold it down. Give me one more. Up, hold it down, pulse it up to finish on this side. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, good, I want you to come up. Now you can put those weights together, keep that same leg back. We're gonna do a quick repeater knee here. Keep that same leg back. Just drive that knee in. You can always get rid of the weights. You can always put the weights down and pump out those arms. Come on, drive it in. Four more counts. Four, three, two. Oh, very good, everyone. Shake it out. Grab a jerk if you need it. We're going back to those lunges again. Same thing again. Put the other leg back. So this time you're gonna put the right foot back. 
Set up those weights if you're using them. Straight down and up. So again, check out that front knee. When it bends, in line with that shoelace. Once you've got that down, look back out ahead. Down, up. In three, two, here we go, two levels. Down for two, down, down, up, up. Inhale, exhale, don't rush it. Down, lift up, down. We've got four more, and then we're gonna hold down. Up, three. Remember, you can always put the weights aside. One more. Down two, hold it down here, hold it for four, three, two, there we go, up two levels, down two levels, up, up, down, down, up, up, you got it, up, back down, up, two more, then we're going to hold down, up, back down, one more, up, Hold it down, let's pulse it up here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, excellent. Come on up, keep that foot behind. Repeat your knee here. You can hold on to those weights or put them down. Drive that knee in. Come on. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh yeah, good job everyone. I know you're working out there. All right, let's move on. Reverse flies here. Work the back and a little balance. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some Eights here. Remember, you grab what uh, you think you can use here. Up two, down two. Now I want you to take that left foot back. Step it back. Lean yourself forward slightly. Nice angle. Get that back down to the tailbone. Elbows are bent a little bit. Weights start together in front of you. Take it up. Back down. Exhale on the lift. Inhale when you bring it down, up. Notice my elbows are in line with those weights. Up, back down. Now if you'd like to add some balance on this, you can lift up that back foot and just hold it off the ground. Optional, optional balance there. You can always keep that foot down. You might keep those elbows bent, raise them up, back down. Up, back down, up, four more, then we're gonna hold up, four, three, should not be standing up perfectly straight, one more on this one, hold it up here, come on, four more counts holding it, four, three, two, good job everyone, bring those weights down, shake it out for a second, all right, I'm gonna take the other foot back this time. So you're gonna take that right foot back, start it down on the ground. This time with the flies, I'm gonna start the weights up. So here we go, down for two. Down, lift up, same fly. We just started at the top instead of the bottom. Down, up. Now again, you wanna add that balance, pick up that back foot. Right off the floor, optional. Get those weights and elbows in line with one another. Up, come on, you're doing it. Down, lift, down, back up. Okay, guys, you've got four more, then we're gonna hold up one more time. Lift, 
three, two more. Come on, take it to the end. One more. I want you to hold it up here, just four counts, hold it. Four, three, two, good job. Bring those weights down, walk it out. Bend those knees and put those weights down. Fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna grab some lighter weights here for the cardio. We're gonna jack it out, holding the arms up with or without weights. Watch my arms. One at a time, just pulling it down and up. I've got light weights in my hands. You can do it without weights. You can tap the feet instead of jumping. You can do regular jack arms. You can do something else here to stay moving. How are we doing out there? Four, three, two. Fantastic, everyone. Remember, take that drink at any time. Moving right along. Bicep curls, underhand curls. Okay, gotta slow it down here again. So maybe you're back to a little bit heavier weight than you just used for the back. You gotta think about it. Change the weights anytime you need to. Okay, I've got my feet separate here a little bit. Roll the shoulders back and down. Underhand grip. Up. Back down. Exhale on the lift. Inhale when you bring it down. Up. Back down. Up. So notice my shoulders stay down. Elbows are staying in. Close to my side. You need to modify. Curl one arm up and down at a time. Next time the other arm. Big modification there. Exhale. Inhale. You're thinking about everything here, not just the biceps. Right, standing on those nice strong legs. Abs tucked in. Glutes squeezed in. Chest lifted. Up. Three more. Up. Give me two more, then a slight change. Up. Back down, one more. Up. Nice, everyone, shake it out for a second. So we're gonna do the underhand curl on the way up, reverse curl on the way down. I'm gonna try it with my same weights. You can always change up your weights if you figure out that you need something different. Here we go. Up, reverse on the way down. Underhand up, reverse back down. So you gotta do some quick turning with those wrists. Back down. Up. Notice my elbows are still staying in. When you reverse it down, not bringing them out so it doesn't look like this. Up. Back down. Up. Nice continuous movement. Back down. Up. Back down. Up. Come on, give me four more. And then another change. Back down, three, two more, big control, one more, up, good guys, rest it again for a second, all right, hammer pumps now, hammer pumps, right here, you're going to pump it out, up, 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 one goes up, one goes down, you can take these a little slower, up and down one, and up and down the other, okay? We're taking to that pump. Up, up, up. Come on, eight more counts. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yes, excellent everyone. Shake out those arms, put those weights down. Let's pick it up here again. Just come on up and run in place for me. Run it out. So we're gonna do side leap and hold. I'll show you first. Just keep running here. Side leap and hold. 
try to get those knees up. You can pump out the arms. You can bring the arms up above the heart. Gets that heart rate up a little faster. Pick your move. For four, three, two, one. Yes, walk it out everyone. How we doing out there? Catch your breath. All right, moving on here. Tricep kickbacks. Smaller muscle here, the tricep. I'm gonna do both arms at the same time. Be careful of your weights here because we're moving both arms at the same time. So I'm gonna separate the feet a little bit here. Chest forward slightly, just like you did in that reverse fly. Weights right here the chest, outside of the chest, and you're gonna push them back for two. And in. All the way back, halfway in. Back, in. Now you guys keep going. I'm gonna to turn to the side and show you. I'm not standing up perfectly straight. I'm trying my best to keep those elbows lifted up the whole time. Back. If you're struggling to keep those elbows up, I'd rather you change up the weights and do it correctly with the right forward, back, especially if you're moving both arms at the same time. Four more, back, in, take it back, two more, back, in, one more, then a quick rest. Nice, everyone. Okay, listen up, we're gonna turn that into an eight count move. You're gonna push the arms back a little faster, do a turn up and back with the wrist, and then bring it back in. Okay, so it looks like this. Back, twist, in, bring it back in. Twist, back in. So when you twist those wrists, those palms turn up to the ceiling, and then they come back and face each other. Back, twist, and in. Back, twist. Keep it going. Back, twist. Put it a little slower. Back, twist. In. Okay, so you're holding those arms back a little longer than the first move. Back, twist. Come on, I know you can do four more with me. Back, twist. Three more. Back, twist. Two more, then we're gonna stand up straight. One more, back, twist, good. Hold on to those weights, bring yourself up, okay? You can stay facing front, but turn to the side to show you. Your palms are facing away from you. Just lift those arms up and down. Oh, I feel it. Up, bend those elbows, pull those weights up, right behind you. Up, 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 four more, four. Three, two, now hold the arms straight down. You're gonna pulse those weights away from you. Come on, keep them away from you. Pulse, pulse. Are you feeling it? Back, back, back. Come on. Give me four more counts. Four, three, two. Yes, excellent everyone. Bend your knees, put those weights down, shake out those arms. Oh, I know you were feeling it there. We're coming down for donkey kicks. What? All right, here we go. You can always stay up, run in place, and kick your heels to your bottom instead. Otherwise, hands down, pop the feet behind, kick those heels up to your bottom. Come on, both heels at the same time. You can kick one at a time and keep it moving. You can go a little slower down here. Lots of different ways. Come on, try to get a good pace going and stay with it. Come on, we're in it together. Four more counts. Four, three, two. 
Very nice, everyone. If you're coming out of that donkey kick, you can drop down and stretch yourself back in your rest position. Sit back against those heels. Catch your breath. Walk those fingertips out a little further. Very good. When you're ready, slowly bring yourself back up. All right. So we're moving on to the chest here. Two moves back to back. Chest press versus push-ups. Three times through. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my mat for this. Chest press. Then we turn right over for eight push-ups. Okay, so I'm gonna count out the push-ups for us. They're gonna be nice and slow. You wanna do more? Okay, that's fine. Okay, so bigger muscle here for the chest press. I'm gonna turn the side again. Show you from the side. Back on the ground. I've got my knees bent, weights up. Oh, I forgot. I was gonna add a bridge to this. Lift the hips up. Here we go, you're gonna lower and lift everything at the same time. Lower the bridge, lower the arms. You do not have to add the bridge in. You can keep the bridge still, holding the hips up. You can keep your tailbone down and just concentrate on that chest press. Eight more counts. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more. Good job, lower from the bridge first and then bring those weights down, just put them down next to you. Roll yourself up, turn yourself right over. First set of push-ups. Hands a little wider than the shoulders. On your knees or on your toes. Here we go, guys, for eight. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more. Yes. Little stretch back before we turn back over. Second set for the chest press. Let's come back over again. Now I'm gonna do the bridge again. This time, I'm gonna cross the right ankle over the left leg, just making it a single bridge. You decide how you're doing it, if you're doing it at all. Arms start up, up in the bridge. Here we go. Down, up. Down, up. If you feel you need to slow the pace down more, go right ahead. Doesn't have to be on this pace. Inhale when you lower, big exhale when you bring the weights back up. Down, up. Four more, four, three, Two, one more. Excellent, come out of the bridge, uncross that foot, lower the weights down, roll yourself up carefully. Next set of push-ups, turn yourself over. Hands a little wider than the shoulders, toes or knees, here we go. Eight, seven, six, abs tucked in, four, Three, two, last one, perfect. Stretch back again for a few seconds. One more time with the chest press and the push-ups. So this time we're gonna cross the other ankle over that opposite leg. Start the weights up, up in the bridge, here we go. Make sure you're doing the chest press out of anything here. Definitely doing the chest press, all that other stuff, extra, adding the bridge in, crossing the leg. Slow it down if you need to. Come on, last eight. Eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, one more. Good job. Lower yourself down carefully, uncross the feet, bring those weights down. Roll yourself up slowly, then turn over. Let's get ready for our last set of push-ups. Lay hands wide in the shoulders, on your toes or on your knees. Here we go. Don't worry, I'm counting. It's off the beat, I know. Four, three, two, last one. Really nice, everyone. Stretch back in your rest position again right here. Take some deep breaths in and out. Now, I do want you to turn over again. We're going to stay down here. Quick bicycle. Come on, turn over. Turn over onto your back. Hands behind the head. Back of the shoulders lifted up. Drive those knees in. Let's go. Let's go. A little twist with that upper body. Come on, really press that belly button in toward the spine. Lift your upper body a little higher if you can without pushing on your head with those hands. Those hands should be super light behind the head. Come on, you should be looking out ahead at those knees coming in. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Good job, everyone. Rest yourself back. Head resting down on the floor. Knees are in. Wrap your arms around those legs and hug those knees in closer to your chest. Hold it right in here. Take those deep breaths in and out. Do that a couple more times. You're going to start to rock yourself up slowly here. Sit all the way up. And then when you're ready, Walk the feet in a little closer, stand yourself up. Come on up, bring that head up last. Bring if you need it. Okay, we're gonna do one more exercise with our weights. Uh, one more cardio, and then we're gonna go to some standing abs. Okay, this is going to be a plie squat with a lat pull in. So you're gonna hold some weights out in front. So watch the weights you grab here as we're keeping them out in front and just pulling them in and out. Okay, I'm grabbing some fives here. I slowed this one down a lot more than the other ones. Okay, feet wide, toes turn out. Just keep the weights on your thighs right now. Let's just get those big squats going first. Like I said, it's slow. We're not adding the arms yet. Just get the legs going. Down, lift. Think about pushing up through your heels. When you lift back up, down. Up. Okay, this time when I come up, I'm going to bring the weights out in front. I'm going to pull those weights in. Pull, extend. Pull, extend. Now, since we added the weights in, you exhale when you pull the weights in. Inhale when you come back up. Exhale, inhale. Pull, reach. Pull. Come on, really squeeze those elbows back. Pull, reach. For four, three, two. Just go back to the PA squat here. Keep the weights on the legs. Down, up. Four more, then we're just gonna hold the legs still and do the lat pull in. Two, here we go, stay up, weights out in front, pull, reach, pull, reach. Come on, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Yes, everyone. Bring those weights down, bend your knees. When you put those weights down, just stand back up and run in place for me. One more cardio here, one more cardio. Run it out. Come on. We're gonna do 
see some jacks. Watch the arms on the jacks. I'm gonna raise them up in front, and then out to the side. Front, side, front, side. You can tap instead of jumping and still do the same arms. You don't like the arms? Just give me regular jack arms. You don't wanna do the jacks? Run your march in place. Just keep moving for me. For eight, seven, six, you got it. Four, three, two, one. I love it. I love it, guys. Good job. All right, catch your breath. Grab that drink again. We're going to move on to our standing abs, okay? All of them up today. Get ready. I like these because they not only work the core, but they also help to improve your posture, your stability, and your balance. So it just gives a little extra workout to not only your core, but the whole rest of the body. Okay, so we're going to go through six exercises. Most of them are 30 seconds each, but when we do one that's one side at a time, it's going to be 15 seconds each uh, for each side. We're going to try to get through two rounds of these. Uh, and then that'll be it. Okay, then we'll go right into that stretch. All right, we're not staying with any music pace here. Just follow, follow my lead here and my pace. So first one, standing leg lift. I want you to think about keeping your tailbone tucked in also on these exercises. Belly button tucked in your spine. Tailbone tucked under, so you're not arching your back and sticking your bottom out. Arms straight out ahead. Oh, let me start my clock here. Okay, you're gonna raise a single leg up and down to those toes, and then the other leg. Nice and slow. You're not trying to throw the leg up fast, okay? Engaging that core. Exhale when you lift that foot. Just keep alternating here. You only have 10 more seconds. How quickly that 30 seconds goes. In three, two, one, Good job. Cross body crunch. Separate your feet. Okay, a little wider than hip width apart. Hands behind the head. And opposite elbow to opposite knee here. You're gonna cross it. And then the other side. 30 seconds. Cross. Cross. Standing up nice and tall. Exhale. And you cross that elbow over to that knee. My foot is landing nice and softly back on the floor. You have 10 more seconds here. Three, two, one. Good job. All right, static march here. Okay, just stay still on this one. I want you to just take your hands at your side, hold them out, making a fist with both hands. You're gonna lift up your right foot. Right, or sorry, yeah, right knee comes up and just hold it up here. Press that belly button in. 15 seconds, you're holding it here. Hold it strong. Hold it. Find that point out ahead and focus on it. In three, two, one. Bring that foot down. Other side, carefully. Bring that leg up, knee up. Hold it right here, 15 seconds. Holding the move, not your breath. Come on, press that belly button and squeeze your glutes. In three, two, one, bring it down. Good, okay, plie squat. We're gonna hold that squat, crunch side to side. So we're gonna do these with our weights, these squats. But this time we're just gonna hold it down, hands behind the head, and you're just gonna crunch side to side here, 30 seconds. Cramp, sorry. Here we go. Nice and slow, back and forth. It. Try to get that elbow close to that leg. Don't rush it. Notice I'm not bringing my, uh, my arm and my elbow in close to my side when I crunch over. Come on, get rid of those sides. Those are weeks. In three, two, one. Yes, come on up, everyone. 
All right, cross-reaching, single leg deadlift. You're gonna take your right leg back, up on the toes, and your right arm out ahead. Okay, you're gonna hinge forward at the hips, lift that single leg back there, and then bring it back in. So reach the arm out, lift the leg, reach the arm, and then bring it back in. 15 seconds on this side. Try to uh, look up that spot out ahead to focus on. Don't want to be looking all around here. In three, two, one. Good, come on up, we'll go to the other side here. Other foot back, and that arm forward. Ready? Here we go. Hinge forward, and then stand back up. Try not to bring that foot all the way down to the floor. That back foot, when you raise back up, see if you can keep it off the floor. Reach out ahead, raise that leg. Come on back up. Nice and slow, for the control. In three, two, one. Good job. One more, and then we go back to the top. Staggered reverse wood chop. So you're gonna take your right foot back. Right, you're gonna stay lifted up here. Put your hands together. Start it up over to the left. And you're gonna give me a nice, strong chop here. My, hand, my eyes are gonna follow those hands. Chop, chop, chop. It's a short, choppy move. Chop, chop. In three, two, one. Definitely feel the balance on that one. All right, other foot back. So your left foot back. Arms up to the right. Look up with those hands. Here we go. Short and choppy. Eyes follow those hands as they chop down. In three, two, one. Great job, everyone. All right, we're gonna go through this one more time. One more time. Standing leg lift. Looking straight ahead, arms out in front. Here we go, you're gonna raise one leg at a time. It doesn't matter which leg you raise first here. Just keep alternating. 30 seconds. Right, keeping your balance. Belly button tucked in. Lower that foot down slowly. Don't just let it slam on the ground. Come on, engaging that core. Exhale when you lift that foot up. You got it. Three, two, one. Good, onto the cross body crunch. Elbow to opposite knee, hands behind the head. Here we go, 30 seconds. Cross it. Come on, get that knee up. Little twist. Keeping yourself lifted up here. Come on, side to side. Keep alternating. Almost there on the 30. In three. Two, one, good, arms down, static march. Okay, so I'm gonna keep my hands at my side, out from the side for a little bit, making those fists. Lift your right foot up first, get your balance, bring that knee up, abs tucked in, hold it right here. 15 seconds, hold it, hold it. When you have to think about the moves here, think about your core. In three, two, one. Switch up here. Other foot, raise it up. Hold here. 15 seconds. Come on. Keep breathing. You're doing great. In three, two, one. Perfect, everyone. All right, that plie squat, hold with that side crunch. So I'm gonna take those feet out wide, toes turned out. Come on down in that plie and hold it. Hands behind your head. Here we go, side to side. Keep that crunch. 
Take your time. 30 seconds here. Come on, side to side. Maybe you can get down a little lower. Come on, you know yourself best. Keep those elbows lifted up. Don't bring them in at your sides. Oh, 10 more seconds. Come on, still working hard here. In three, two, fantastic everyone. All right, we've got our cross reaching, single leg deadlift. So take your right leg back, right arm's gonna go out ahead. Ready, we're gonna hinge forward at the hips. Here we go, nice and slow. Reach it out ahead as you raise that leg and just bring it back in. Reach and come on up. Exhale and reach. Bring it back up. Reach. And come on back up. Other side, 15 seconds. Take that other foot behind now and reach that arm ahead. Here we go. Reach, flow. Back in, I don't always have the best balance. Reach. That's why we're practicing it. Reach. Back in. Reach. Back in. Give me one more. Reach it out. Hinge forward. And bring it back in. Nice, guys. Last move. That staggered reverse wood chop. So take your uh, right foot back. Hands up over to the left. And together, making that one big uh, fist with those hands. Here we go. Chop it down. Chop it down near your leg. Chop. 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 Okay, you do it nice and choppy. You really have to hang on to that balance. Core has to work here. Keep yourself stabilized. In three, two, one. Yes, other side. Other foot back. Take those arms up. Over to the right. Get ready. Here we go. Chop it down. Come on. Nice quick chop. Always follow those hands. Chop it, chop it. Almost there. In three, two, one. You got it, guys. Very nice. All right, we're gonna get right into our stretching here. Let's get ready to stretch here. Great song for the stretching. It's called Good Feeling. Do you have a good feeling now? I hope so. I know you guys worked hard out there. So let's bring those feet together. Nice big inhale. Reach those arms up. Exhale. Do that again. Nice big breath in. Reach those arms up. And exhale. So a little different this time when we bring the arms down. Nice big inhale. Hold them up here. I want you to cross your right leg over that left leg. Exhale. And slowly start to lower down. Just bring those hands down right in front of you. You can even take that elbow and press in on the inside of that leg. Hold it here. Three, two, one. Uncross the foot, bring the arms down, roll yourself back up. Now we begin inhale, reach those arms up, keep the hands together. Let's cross the left over the right. Exhale and slowly start to come down here. So let's sit back a little bit, hold it here. Hands together, you can press that elbow on the inside of that leg and just hold it still. In three, two, one. Good job. Uncross, arms down, come on back up. Let's separate those feet a little right here. Another great big inhale. We're going to turn everything to the left. Now on your exhale, start to arch the back, take the arms out nice and wide, put the weight on that back leg. Hold it right here. We're opening up to the chest here. I'm feeling it in the lower back as well. In that back leg. Very big inhale. Straighten yourself back up. You stay facing the side and then exhale and reach those arms out ahead now. Reach them out ahead. You put that weight on that front leg now. Now I'm going to continue lower and down more. I'm going to sweep that back foot more. Come on down into a lunge and hold it here. Your hands can either stay on the floor or you can come up a little higher. Put the hands on that front leg. Okay, you decide what works best. Slowly turn yourself back to the front. 
Roll yourself all the way up here. Bring that head up last. And we're gonna go straight ahead. Nice big inhale again. Turn everything to the right. Exhale and start to arch that back. Open those arms up nice and wide. Open up through that chest again. Put the weight on that back leg. Hold it right here. Big inhale as you straighten up again. Bring those arms up high. And you're going to exhale and reach those arms out ahead. You're still facing the side. Hold it here. Weight is more on that front leg now. I'm going to slowly start to come down more. I'm going to bring the hands to the floor. Keep that back leg more. Hold your lunge. Again, you can always stay up taller. Bring those hands on that front leg. Hold it here. Slowly turn yourself back to the front again. Just walk the feet in a couple steps. Your tilt is still pretty wide. Roll yourself up halfway. Back is nice and flat. Put the hands on those legs. Just drop your left shoulder down and look up behind your right shoulder. Hold it here. Slowly come back to the front. Drop that right, right shoulder down. Look up behind your left shoulder. Hold it here. Turn back to the front again. Bring those feet together. Bringing yourself all the way up. Roll up. Look out ahead. One more inhale, everyone. Big breath in. Reach those arms up. Exhale. And probably your favorite words, we are done. Fantastic job, everyone. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you again soon.